This was a very interesting film to research as it turns out that this was based on a very popular kabuki play. Kabuki is a native form of theater in Japan and what was interesting is that one of the lead actors in this play was also the lead actor in this film. The story takes place in old Japan, anywhere from the 16th to 19th century as I got different accounts from different sources. Nonetheless, you have powerful oni, which is a Japanese word for demon, especially Sister Bizan, who wants to bring about the reign of Ashura, a very powerful demoness who will lead demons to cast darkness all over the world. Opposing her are demon wardens, aka demon fighters, and one of them, Izamo, gives up his trade as he thinks he accidentally killed a young girl. Years pass, and he meets and falls in love with a very talented acrobat from a traveling theater company. Things unfold, and one of his fellow demon warriors, Jakku, joins the cause of evil. Jakku, with his really big hair, and was kind of the poor man's Darth Vader, or Anakin, depending on how you look at it, was all right, he was okay, but also kind of annoying. A lot of this film had wasted opportunity. The lead actor made me feel extremely uncomfortable as some if not all of the dialogue was creepy and some of his acting choices was creepy and probably the most uncomfortable I felt was during the love scene between him and Tsubaki who was prophesied to become Ashura. The lead actress Tsubaki aka Ashura was not bad but not great either. The film's pacing was not very good and I lost interest and felt myself bored at various points in it and there was just enough below average elements to keep this film a solid C minus but not enough to drive it all the way into the dismal lands of D's and F's. If you want to heckle it fine but otherwise you don't need to see it. All right guys well that's all for now. I hope you are having an awesome day and I look forward to talking to you very soon. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr at Lord Coyote 2000. Take care now. Bye.